Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Rob Dollar back with another bid. It's looking good. It's looking real good. It's looking real good up there. Before I get into this video, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. Say your dollars. We love what you're doing. Make sure if you guys are new to the channel that you guys subscribe. Big shout out to Sneakerhead in the Bay. David got cakes, got the t-shirt, dope quality material, tagless shirt, got their name, their brand on it, Sneakerhead in the Bay, as well as David got cakes on the tag, you know what I'm saying, got the channel. But anyway, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both those links will be in the description. We're going to talk about those Yeezy 350s that are dropping tomorrow morning. The infant ones that are going for $130 retail. Now, me personally, I don't have no infant child. And me personally, if I did have an infant child, I wouldn't spend $130 on no Yeezys for them. I'm not, I'm not going to front. That's just me personally. And that's just retail. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get into resale in a minute. But we talking about retail. Retail, 130 for some Yeezy 350 boost in infant sizes. I mean, them shits can fit in the palm of your hands. 350 Yeezys, infant, 130. Comment down below, let me know, would you buy a pair of infant shoes? Whether it's Yeezys or not, would you buy a pair of infant shoes for $130? That's all I want to know, number one. Number two, those Yeezy 350 boosts that are releasing for infants at 130 are now reselling for between 500 and a thousand dollars. Comment down below. Let me know. How do you feel about that? I'm not gonna say would you pay that because I already know. 90% of my, probably 100% of my viewers that are watching my channel are going to say, hell no, I would never spend 130 on no ch no infant shoe. I'm talking about infants grow fast. Fast as fuck. I don't know who got kids out there, or you got baby brothers or sisters, but you guys already know how that goes. Kids, babies, they grow fast. So we already know that 130 is just a waste of 130 because nobody them, them that 130 is like it's probably gonna last a month your child wearing them shoes and then guess what happens after that he outgrows them and then it's a wrap no more 130 and let alone paying 500 to a thousand dollars for those shoes in the resale market me personally i don't even think i'm gonna take a chance trying to cop them shits to resell that's just me personally now, if there was adult side i probably would but an uh, infant size i just I me mean, personally, I don't see a market for them. I don't see them selling. Maybe they will. If you like know, know people that are like movie stars or rich motherfuckers, then you probably could sell them in the resale market. But me personally, I don't think I really want to take a chance. I know, I know, um, I gotta wake up tomorrow morning because I gotta get my son and my daughter those gold 11s. You know what I'm saying? The gold and white ones. And those are pretty limited too. They they barely got them in my local area, and that shit shocked me. But um, comment down below, man. Give me your thoughts on the Infant Yeezy Boost 350s going for 130 retail and between 500 to a thousand dollars in the resale market. Do you believe that there is a market for those Infant Yeezys? We all know Yeezys resell. We all know that. We all know that. So we're gonna get that established right now. We know Yeezy sell, but do you think there's a market for the infant sizes? Comment down below. Let me know. I don't think so, unless you got. Unless you got clout with rich people, then maybe. But other than that, regular niggas buying them, I just can't see it. You know what I'm saying? Big shout out to Sneakerhead in the band. David got kicks. Shit look real nice. This is Rob Dollar. Leave your comments down below. I'm out of here.